There are two new features in RSpec that will help when working with a continuum. First, as an example, I'm going to open a type A star from the Pickles library. Usually we use the reference button and then the reference library option to open a profile, like this. But this time, I'm going to open it on the main profile. I'll click on the open button, and then in this documents folder, open the familiar type A05 star that we've used in the past. Ah, there it is. Beautiful, isn't it? So for this example, remember back to one of the steps when we were correcting for instrument response. We needed to smooth it out, remove all the absorption lines. And in the past, we do this by opening the edit point screen, positioning the measure lines around each feature, and then using this delete button. That's time consuming and cumbersome. Here, let me undo that with this button. So notice this new draw continuum section. Let's check this add points box. Now I can simply click the points where I think the continuum lies. And you can see that RSpec is connecting the points as I go into a nice smooth continuum. If I want to undo some points, as it says here, I can just hit the escape or the backspace key. I'll do that. Okay, let's zoom in and keep going. So now I'll continue to add points, clicking where I think the continuum is. But here I notice that these two points aren't really on the continuum. So I can delete them by alt click on the red profile line. I'll do that once and twice and then add a few more points just to tune things up. There we go. So let's zoom out now. Hey, that's looking pretty good. You can see this is a really flexible tool. You can add new points at any time and you can delete single points as I just did. So now the blue curve is a smooth type A05 star that we could use when doing instrument response. And in addition to that use, we can use the same blue curve to normalize or rectify the red curve around 1.0. Let's see how that works. The first step is to open the math window. Okay, it's currently set for main profile to be divided by the reference profile. So let's click on calculate. Oh, that looks pretty good. The continuum is at 1.0 and it looks pretty smooth, except for this area over here, which looks pretty noisy. The large amplitude of that noise is because we're getting down close to zero on the y-axis. So differences become amplified. It's always a good idea, as it has been in the past, to crop all of your instrument response work so that the lines stay pretty high above the x-axis. We could just add more blue continuum points along the tops of the red curve, but rather than that, notice that these points are outside the visual region. They're the infrared Paschen lines. We normally won't see these on our equipment and we're usually not interested in them. Of course, as I said, we could have just cropped the red curve to exclude them before starting but we can also just delete this continuum point way out here with an alt click on the red main profile. Now, when I click on calculate again, watch how these lines disappear because the calculator crops the red profile if there aren't corresponding blue points. Ah, much better. Being able to fine tune the continuum like I just did and then immediately recalculate to see the results makes this a really powerful tool. Now the final step, as usual with the math tool, would be to copy this to the main profile, like that. And let's zoom in. See how it's now normalized around 1.0? Also notice that you can use this button to save your continuum points so that you can reuse them on other spectra. Now, let's look at a different spectrum. For more than 10 years, RSpec has had this More button. These options allow you to create a continuum using different properties. For example, I can position the measure lines and then select to create a continuum using the average between the measure lines, like this. In this release of RSpec, we've added this new option to create the continuum that connects the points that the measure lines go through. If I zoom in, 
you can see that this continuum goes through the profile exactly at the measure line. Depending on your data, sometimes this method is the best way to synthesize a continuum. So with these two new features, RSpec makes it easier for you to normalize or rectify your spectra or prepare to do instrument response corrections.